What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk about Lucasfilm and Disney and another ridiculous, nonsensical claim they are making, and I think it's laughable. But I also think it's funny because they know how dumb their audience is, they know how stupid these people are that actually like these movies, and that's who they're trying to send this signal out to because they know these morons will do nothing but screen cap the headline, they don't do any research, they don't do any reading, they don't do anything other than and take the headline, post it to social media, and make that a definitive claim. That's exactly what's going on right here, because if you read further into it, it's clear as day that they are reaching beyond reaching to make this sound like it actually happened. They're making a definitive claim in the headline, but the reality of it is, is that's not what's actually happening. So here we are on Screen Rant, and read that headline. Star Wars Rey Skywalker twist was planned before Force Awakens. Now, you read that and you're like, oh damn, look, they all had a plan. They had a plan from the beginning. They never had a plan whatsoever, but they're stupid enough to fall for this. A lot of these weirdos out there that are Raylos and, and they they think Ryan Johnson's the greatest thing ever. They, they've screen, they screenshot my headlines all the time of my videos and show my thumbnails, and they just make definitive claims. They don't know what's said in the video, but the headline just hurts their feelings so much. And in this type of headline, it tells them exactly what they want to hear, but that's not the reality of what's going on. So let's read, and we'll talk about it. Something that the weirdos out there don't ever do. They don't actually read they don't actually do any type of, of research they just make definitive claims based off of headlines and that is who this is for those weirdos uh, the art of Star Wars the rise of Skywalker reveals the movies Ray Skywalker twist at the end was planned back before the force awakens released oh wow they had a plan the whole time look at there except that is still not the case they never had a plan uh, Star Wars planned the Rise of Skywalker's Rey Skywalker twist before The Force Awakens released. In the film, Rey concludes her journey by taking on the Skywalker name. You mean stealing the name? Symbolically rejecting the dark side in her blood and embracing the light. Like many creative choices in The Rise of Skywalker, this proved to be extremely divisive. Some people felt Rey's choice marked the rise the Skywalker um, family ultimate. Good lord, there's like there's so much Rey Skywalker, the Rise of Skywalker. This my god, I'm getting so mixed up over the Skywalker. It's just like they cannot stop beating that name into the ground. Some people felt Rey's choice marked the Skywalker family's ultimate victory over Palpatine, definitively ending their decades-long conflict. Others thought the scene played as a heavy-handed fan service that closed the saga out on a whimper, not a triumphant note. One of the more common criticisms lobbied against the sequel trilogy is that the narrative wasn't planned out in advance. While there are benefits to giving directors creative freedom on their films, Lucasfilm's approach arguably led to a series of movies that were seemingly at odds with each other. The studio, the studio's habit of using tie-in publications like official novelizations to clear up muddled plot points like Emperor Palpatine's return is also seen as proof of lack of a plan. However, one of the Rise of Skywalker's most notable twists was established well before the Star Wars Renaissance kicked off. Star Wars Renaissance, okay. The art of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker details a Lucasfilm story group meeting taking place in May of 2014, roughly a year and a half prior to The Force Awakens premiere. Pablo Hidalgo, shout out to Pablo Hidalgo, he's a big fan of the car videos, um, even though he has me blocked on Twitter, had this to say about Rey's role in the saga and how she could still be a Skywalker even though she wasn't born into the family. Now, if we're taking this exact quote as their proof that there was always a plan, bullshit. Uh, his qu quote, I like the idea that she's going to be our Skywalker, but she's not a Skywalker. Then for our purposes, the Skywalker is really a metaphor. It doesn't have to be something that's directly connected to blood. Okay, he is saying symbolically she's the Skywalker of their trilogy. He is not saying that she was going to take the name on. That's not what that quote is saying. That is a reach beyond a reach. But if you go to the headline, the headline is definitive. Star Wars Rey Skywalker twist was planned before Force Awakens release. That twist was not planned before The Force Awakens release. You will never, ever, ever get me to believe that. Again, he says, I like the idea that she's going to be 
our Skywalker, but she's not a Skywalker, then for our purposes, the Skywalker is really a metaphor. It doesn't have to be something that's directly connected to blood. Now, is there more to that? Doesn't sound like it. There's no more quotes to back that up. From this, it sounds like the sequel trilogy was always going to build up to Ray Skywalker scene. Lucasfilm was apparently thinking ahead and establishing a foundation for the new film's early in development. It's unknown if the plan was for Ray to be Emperor Palpatine's granddaughter at this stage. Abrams initially wanted to bring the classic villain back in The Force Awakens. Ba but based on Hidalgo's quote, she was never going to be a biological Skywalker or Solo. That's interesting to consider, and it shows the studio was designing ways to expand the franchise's traditional concepts. Obviously, a Skywalker was always a protagonist in the Skywalker Saga installments, but this idea takes it a step further by revealing one doesn't need Skywalker blood to become a Skywalker. Only, or One only has to choose a specific way of life. In a way, it connects to The Last Jedi's core theme that a hero can be from anywhere. My gosh, they are still trying to fix The Last Jedi. They are still trying to fix all of this. This is ridiculous. This revelation may not be good enough to make up for the general lack of cohesion across the sequel trilogy, but it's still a cool detail illustrating Lucasfilm's creative process. It's true the franchise was crafted in the mold of making things up as they uh, went along. Look at all of the Star Wars retcons George Lucas implemented in the original trilogy. Again, it's always about, well, uh, 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 this might be shit, but uh, 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 look what George Lucas did. You know, it's all you can never just stand on your own own merit. They have to use something else to try and make up for their faults. Unbelievable. But in a modern franchising filmmaking, um, it helps to have some uh, ensemble of plan to stick to. Surely there were a number of twists and turns along the way, but the final scene in The Rise of Skywalker was accumulation of meeting that what happened more than five years before it premiered. That had to be very satisfying for the story group to see their vision come to fruition. Okay, so this was nothing more than this. They, they took a quote and spun this like a mofo to their advantage. Again, at no point does this give any uh, proof that there was a plan. He's talking about Rey can symbolically be the Skywalker of this trilogy. This is not saying that she's going to identify as a Skywalker, yada, yada, yada. This was a probably just one little piece of a discussion, a bigger discussion when they were debating like who she could be or whatever. But again, it's clear that they had no plan. Do you know why we know that? Because The Last Jedi happened. So maybe there was a plan. Maybe there was a plan. But Ryan Johnson walked in and Kathleen Kennedy's lack of leadership proved that even if there was a plan, it didn't get followed because she let Ryan Johnson walk in the door and do whatever he wanted and ruin everything. So this is trash. This is them retconning again and again and again. They just continue to change it up constantly. Ooh, look, we found one quote from Pablo Hidalgo back in 20, whatever, 13 or 14. We can use this one quote to say, look guys, we had a plan the whole time. We know what we're doing. We're not idiots. We're not stupid. We knew the whole time she was going to be in a Skywalker. What? How desperate is Lucasfilm at this point? Like, how bad is this? This is embarrassing that they continue to do anything and everything to try to fix the trash that they have produced. It's garbage. There was never a plan. It's screwed up. There's nothing you can do to fix it. The more you try, the worse you make it. So continue, I guess, but nobody's taking you seriously. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. And Disney never had a plan. Talk to you later.